we probably came up here that made the hour drive from Portland like a week straight without getting just dry the park and then try to skate for five minutes and it would rain losing my mind photo deadline was right there this is the thing where i totally lost my mind on felt so ridiculous and so embarrassed of my behavior that i couldn't get in the car with everyone and sit on an hour back to go to portland i had to walk about 10 miles before i had service i can't believe the cops didn't get called in my shirt i'd rip my shirt up blood all over my face all over from like just to everywhere and i had to call my girlfriend and she came and picked me up and that's how it started. Yeah, this is some of the first stuff that was built here. The very first thing that was built is this quarter pipe. This is a fun little track coming down, hitting this little jump box. Too excited. It's it's definitely different having one area you're filming a whole part on. Like that's yeah, that you actually have to like try to care about. When I, well, when I did my in transition, it was pretty close to when I'd started skating again after a year off from shoulder surgery. I wasn't gonna go somewhere with just like 10 foot bowls and like airs were kind of like a thing that were not really high on my list of stuff to go for at that time. So I decided here with just lots of like the little flowy stuff I'd be able to like, I don't know, maybe just do weird lines and Jamie Weller really nailed it in design. So you, you find yourself all over the place very quickly. I just want to like hit a hip, hit a fly box, hit another hip, hit a quarter pipe, hit a jump box again, like hit a spot, like any feeling of just like flowing. When I started skating, all I did was skate. I, I thought street skating was stupid. I really could not get why anyone cared about, so every flip trick looked the same to me and they just like, I just didn't care. I just wanted to see people go fast and get air. And I don't know, I, I, I love getting air. 